Well, good morning everyone and uh, welcome to another edition of Lee Fisher's Always Fishing. That's always fishing, as in all different types of fishing, just in case you didn't know that already. But we're out pike fishing again. Um, because of this storm, we've had Storm Babette, uh, we've had horrendous rain for the last few days. Um, the rivers are flooded, completely flooded. I did go up and have a look the other day and it was right up over the bank, chocolate brown and running through really, really hard. So no chance of pike fishing on the river or any type of fishing on the river for that matter. So it's all down to the gravel pits at the moment. <clears throat> so I've come down to my uh, local gravel pit, up on the Willows Bank again, um, favourite little spot here by this sunken willow tree. I didn't have much choice to be honest, you know, this is a bonus Saturday trip, because Sal's away. It was pouring with rain when I got up this morning at 6 o'clock and looked out the window, absolutely lashing it down in the trees. I thought, no, no. Made myself some breakfast and a cup of tea and went back to bed and left it an hour or so, a couple of hours, um, and then decided, look, you know, I've got the whole day off, what else am I going to do? Let's go for it. So, got the walk boots on, drove through some torrential downpours on the way down here, big floods across the road and everything, but, but got here. Um, got round to, to the swim. I'm all set up, just swung the baits out there. I've got a, a sardine, half a sardine on one rod and smelt on the other. Uh, fishing this swim because I like it, it's productive and being a Saturday and low pressure and all that, you know, all the car paints are out, great conditions for fishing. Um, and it's really busy, really busy, you know, everywhere you look it's, the, it's fishermen today. So I'm pleased to get this swim really. So I'm going to stick in it all day because of the rain. It's going to be heavy showers, then it's going to clear. Heavy showers, then it's going to clear. I did spy a bit of blue sky up there for the first time today. So it's going to be like this. It's going to be heavy showers, then it's going to clear heavy show all day, you know. So I'm going to stay in the one swim for that reason. Uh, hopefully I'll get a pike or two for my efforts. But if I don't, I'm back again tomorrow. <laughs> so I've got two chances this weekend. See how it goes. Well, it's a changeable day, I say that. One moment it's dark as anything, pouring down, and then the clouds break up, and you've got glorious sunshine. That's uh, not much good for the pike fishing. I haven't had a single bite yet. Um, it's about half ten. So I've only been fishing an hour and a half, but you know, if I was going to get a bite, I would have expected to have had one by now. Well, it's about 11 o'clock now, and uh, it's one of those days, isn't it? And I've sat here for two hours waiting for a bite, and uh, Bailey just came around checking the tickets, and I was just chatting to him. Probably the right hand rod, see the line start pulling tight. And looked out and the float was just going under the trees there. So I struck, hooked it, wound in a couple of times, then the thing just absolutely bang, flat rodded me, pulled the, the rear handle out of my hand, spun around backwards, wrapped my knuckles, caught my thumb on a mad spurt, and I thought, oh, this feels good, you know. Got it coming across all right. It did pick up the other line, but dropped it. And uh, it came up a few times, flaring its gills, shaking its head, you know. And I thought, don't come off, don't come off, you know. And it leapt right by the net, considering I've lost a couple over there by the fish leaping. I was a bit nervous, but uh, reached out, got it in the net, just as it jumped again and th threw the hooks out, but. It was in the net, so brilliant, you know, well happy. Had a quick look in the net, you know, I reckoned it was around about £10, probably, you know, just, just double, low double. Um, 
course the hooks have come out so I put the rod to one side pulled the net right back so the fish couldn't escape just uh, finding a nice spot for the uh, unhooking mat to do the photographs went back went back to the net the net and the net was flipping in the water you know actually it'd been dragged forward and it's in the water under water and of course it lifted the net up and the fish is gone so I didn't even get a picture of it you know <laughs> so like I said it's one of those days isn't it oh dear what a disaster so uh, anyway I caught it it was a 10 pound pike but unfortunately no photographs um, so I'm just gonna have to fish on and try and catch another one well, like I just said just then about 15 minutes ago I said it's turning into one of those days well that's further been compounded in the last 15 minutes I've had three more chances three more chances and not landed a fish I had a take on the um, smelt which was on the left hand rod that one uh, went soon after casting out actually you know I thought I'd flick it a bit further around put the rod in the rest boom and the float was gone straight away hooked into it got it halfway in came off and uh, the bait was a little bit chewed up but uh, seemed okay so I swung it back out there again um, about 10 minutes later a few ripples coming off of the float sat up and sat down a few little ripples drifted around a little bit a few more ripples and I thought I'm going to give it a go pulled into it yeah it was on again got it halfway in and it came off two lost fish in sort of five ten minutes unbelievable so I put another bait on and swung that one back out there and then the right hand one, right under the tree, lines tightening on that. Pulled, stopped, I waited, I waited, pulled again, pulled again, stopped. Oh, 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 oh do I, don't I? Twitched again, drifted over, struck and missed it. But it you know, it pulled the float sort of virtually right under the trees. How I didn't look at it, I don't know. So it's three chances in the last quarter of an hour and nothing. <laughs> like I said, one of those days. Right, well I'm really getting peed off now. Only another five minutes later, after losing that last last chance, I swung the bait back out there, sat down. I didn't even sit down really. And suddenly the float's upright again and it's off and it's really going under the, the trees. Struck into it, hooked it got it out from under the trees and then it sort of dived down into open water and it sort of porpoised across the surface and I saw it and it was a it was a mid double it was a mid, it was one of the bigger ones one of the bigger ones in the lake sort of went over into open water and then yeah but pulled out I don't know what the hell is going on I'm just losing so many fish here it's just crazy I mean even the one I got in the net shook the hook out so that's what's that? That's one, two, three, four, five. Five chances I've had. Five chances in the last sort of hour. Three quarters of an hour even, you know. And I've got nothing to show for it. Okay, I landed one but didn't get a photograph of it. Don't know how big the other ones were that, that came off, but I saw that one and that was a big fish. I've just got to keep carrying on. I'm not, I'm not moving swims now, obviously. Suddenly, you know, the pike have turned up. Um, so I'm going to keep going and hopefully I'll actually land one and get a photograph of it. Does the look on the face say it all? This is turning into the day from hell. It really, really is. So I just felt the hooks, you know, and they were a little bit blunt, so I've made up a new rig, a double hook rig, you know, two, two trebles, lovely sharp hooks, swung the bait back out there where I lost that last, last fish, which was a good fish, you know, because I saw it. 
and within 10 minutes the line's tightening up again and I let it go for a bit pulled into it bang really good fish you know I knew straight away it was it had a lot of weight to it, it dived right under the trees I got it out it went under again got it out and it was really chugging along and it started going out into open water and I thought that's good you know please stay on please stay on and suddenly the main line snapped I just I just can't believe the awful day that I'm having it really is a day from hell so now I've lost my float which has drifted off out I don't know if you can see but it's actually it's got jammed against my other float uh, obviously when I pull it in it's just gonna come come away but what a day I'm having I mean that was clearly another good fish clearly another good fish and the main line snap for Christ's sake what else can go wrong today eh what else finally I landed one and actually got a photograph of it without it escaping yeah, this is nice low, low double figure uh, pike quite a long slim one but I'll tell you what after those lost fish you know like six lost fish I'm pleased to get this one. Nice one. Well, you're not going to believe it. <laughs> when I landed that last pike, it was uh, ten and a half pounds, that last one. As I lifted it out of the water, another pike came in to investigate. And it just came in and sat there. I looked at it for a while and then waddled off. I think I recognised it, you know, because it had a blind... One of its eyes was blind. Clouded over, blind eye. Half an hour later, float's gone under, and I've just caught that fish, <laughs> the blind eye one. I mean, what's the chances of that? He obviously just swam along the bank and picked up my sardine. Ever such a long fish, but look how skinny it is. Look, massive great big head. Not much of a body. Very old fish, I think. It comes to rain, so I'll quickly do this. But uh, just over 10 pounds. So it's half past four now and typically it started raining again. Having been dry all afternoon, all the gear dried off. I even took uh, my waterproofs off, took my waterproof trousers and jacket off. They were all nice and dry, rolled them up and put them in my tackle box. And of course, as you just saw, when I had that, that pike, I landed it and it was nice and dry. And just as I was photographing it, suddenly the sky clouded over and uh, it started to rain. I had to quickly get the cameras under cover, quickly did the pictures, got the cameras under the uh, shelter and quick put the fish back. So now I've got the waterproof back on again. <laughs> uh, I've only got, you know, I'm going to give it another hour and a half. I said I was going to pack up at six o'clock. That's an hour and a half to go. Um, I kind of redeemed myself really, haven't I? You know, after all those lost fish, I've, I've actually landed three now. Uh, and they've all been doubles, all been 10 pounders actually. Um, 10 pounds, just over 10 pounds, 10 pounds eight, and, and exactly 10 pounds. So three nice 10 pounders. Shame about the lost big ones, but uh, there's always another day.